gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome you aboard this El Al flight. On behalf of El Al, the captain and the crew, we wish you all a pleasant flight. El Al, it's not just an airline, it's Israel. <laughs> Hey guys, so here I am in Yerushalayim on Rechov Herzl at Cafe Danya, one of my favorite restaurants in all of Yerushalayim. There's so much yummy food here to eat, to taste. They bring out so many different things. So we're here, they have this beautiful breakfast outside. And there are some different brachot questions that come up when we're sitting outside in this beautiful setting with all these yummy foods. Sometimes we forget that a bracha rishona, the start bracha, is made even on the smallest amount of food, while a bracha achrona is only made after eating an entire kezayit. So if I was to walk down the side of this table over here, not on the table obviously, and taste all the little foods, I would make all the brachot rishonot that apply to all these foods. When making brachot, one should make sure that they see the food and actually even hold the food in their more dominant hand. So for righties, that's the right hand, and for lefties, that's their left hand. You should see the food so that you make sure you make the right bracha, and more importantly, that we don't pause in the middle of bracha and say, Baracha Tasha Melokina Melacha Olam, ah, this is what I'm making a bracha on, Borei Priha Eitz or Hadama or whatever. We should first think about what the bracha is before we say Hashem's name. Just some thoughts from Yushalayim about brachot. <laughs> Boy, such an amazing day traveling around Israel and eating in restaurants. It's so much fun, and you get to make so many bra- oh. Hold on one second. Hey, what's up? Ah, interesting. So, so you finished, almost finished eating, and you realized that you didn't make a baracha in the last place that you were. Ah, do you have any food left? You do. Okay, so here's the deal. If you have some food left, even the minimum amount, just enough to take to taste, the same as you would make a bracha on a little bit of taste, you would make a bracha even if you had just had a little bit of food left, and then you would make your bracha acharona. So if all you have left is just one french fry, or even just the crust of your bread, or the edge of your cookie, then you would just make a bracha on that. Yeah, sure, awesome. All right. We'll see you later. I'm hanging out at Burger's Bar now. Yeah, I'm, I'm having dessert at Burger's Bar. Yeah, a, a hamburger and french fries, of course. I'll see you later. Bye. See you next time on Artsenu, where we tour and travel through our homeland, through Eretz Yisrael. Shalom.